हे गाइज माई नेम इज अंकुश आनंद एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सेवन थिंग्स दैट यू शुड नेवर डू इन योर वर्ड प्रेस वेबसाइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड अ लॉट ऑफ अस यूज वर्ड प्रेस एंड अ लॉट ऑफ अस कोलेबोरेट विद अदर पीपल सो हे आर द फर्स्ट थिंग यू शुड नेवर डू इज नेवर यूज सेम यूजर अकाउंट्स वाइल कोलेबोरेटिंग इफ देर आर मल्टीपल पीपल वर्किंग ऑन ए सेम वेबसाइट यू शुड ऑलवेज क्रिएट यूजर अकाउंट सेपरेट यूजर अकाउंट फॉर एवरी पर्सन वाई because whenever one person is editing a page if there is another person who wants to edit the page uh, or the post uh, if we try to edit they will be able to edit and the progress made by the first person will be lost so it's better that you create a separate account and uh, when you create a separate account and use the separate account you will be notified if there is another person editing the post the second reason is that WordPress store all the revisions of all the posts and uh, pages that we are uh, creating or editing in its database. So uh, the revisions are also stored in personalized manner. So you can track which revisions, which revisions, which changes are made by you, and you can always go back to any of the previous history. That's why you should never use same user accounts while collaborating. The second thing that you should never do is. Uh, you should never start working on a website if ssl is not installed and enforced properly what i mean here is you should install ssl and also you should make sure that it's working properly it's enforced so why you should do it because there are cases when you uh, start working on the website ssl is installed and uh, you may feel that it's working properly but whenever you start uh, uploading images and there are places where uh, there will be issues of insecure content and my mixed content which means that some of your images and media files will not be using https so make sure that you install ssl you enforce it for enforcement you can use really simple ssl and similar plugins some hosting providers also have pre installed features pre installed uh, options in their hosting provide hosting okay so the third thing that you should never do is never integrate search console and submit site maps if your website is not ready yes i am saying the right thing you should never submit your website in search console and uh, si uh, submit site maps if your site is not ready because there are lot of demo pages there is lot of uh, uh, stuff that you need to do before you submit it in the search console so just to make sure that there is there is no wrong indexing in the uh, google and there is no unwanted pages indexed in google make sure you complete the site you check everything all the meta tags and then you start indexing it in the search engine and submit your site maps what you can do you can actually uh, select this option and uh, choose this create search engines to index the site and second thing that you can do is use some maintenance plugin and uh, the fourth thing that you should never do is never do changes in a live website yes a lot of people just uh, start working on a website they will just uh, install wordpress they will just go ahead buy a domain and start working on the website also if the website is ready and uh, you uh, you want to change something you want to add some features some people will just uh, directly start to edit it on the live website why you are doing it Uh, there will be users who are visiting your website there may be your clients there may be some persons who are visiting your site and they may be getting a bad user experience because something is not working properly you are changing the design you are changing the features so make sure whenever you are changing design and uh, adding some functionalities you either put the site in maintenance or you can also use something called staging so if the changes if the if it it's taking long time then you should use wordpress staging or cpanel staging there are uh, videos on youtube how to do staging in wordpress so you can go and check it out also there will be uh, maintenance plugins which you can use and uh, those plugins will uh, put your site in maintenance so nobody will be able to see the website they will see a coming soon page so uh, i have also created a plugin you can go ahead and install this plugin uh, you can search for dd maintenance on uh, plugin directory and there you can install this plugin and it's really simple you can just go ahead and activate it as soon as you activate it your site will be under maintenance and you can start working on the back end 
and uh, as soon as your work is done you can deactivate the plugin so that's all so uh, the fifth thing that you should never do is never use nerd themes and plugins in your wordpress website if you don't trust the website provider okay so what happen is whenever you go ahead and uh, search for a uh, theme and plugin on uh, google uh, there are a lot of websites and the most of the websites will provide you these themes and plugins but they have malicious code in these themes and plugins which cause your site to get hacked so your site will get hacked or maybe uh, in not instantly in the long term the your website may be being used for seo purposes or something like that so it doesn't matter that right now your site is getting hacked there are other things that can be done on the back end they can actually uh, like uh, slow down your site they can actually uh, like uh, uh, keep take control of your server uh, day by day and then also they can uh, use your site for seo purposes for them okay so here the fifth thing uh, so what you can do you can either go ahead and buy it but if you don't want to buy it you can get it from your friend and there is this website which you can go at and uh, this is a trusted website where you can uh, find gpl uh, themes and plugins for free okay so, so the sixth thing that you should never do is never use images graphics and media files that you don't own or you are not allowed to use so just make sure because you may run into copyright issues because recently even recently one of my friend got a uh, uh, you know, fine of uh, 2 lakhs for uh, using copyrighted images from a website so just make sure you always use free images either you take the images yourself or you buy images I, or uh, there is uh, there is another option to get uh, free images from google but uh, not all the google images are free and uh, copyright free so just make sure you are doing it right and the images you are using the graphics you are using are totally free to use in your website the seventh thing that you should never do is never copy content from any other website it may be owned by others or even by you so why you should not copy any content from any other website because there will be copyright issues that is obvious but there is do a issue of duplicate content as well the search engines will penalize you if you are having duplicate content so just make sure you create fresh content or at least you modify the content a bit so these were seven things that you should never do the final thing the add on thing is never give up in word in your wordpress website you should keep on working you should keep on exploring the things and uh, uh, later uh, day by day you will get better in it there are lot of tutorials on youtube even in my channel i have some tutorials you can go ahead and search on google there will be solution for all of your problems so just make sure you never lose hope so that's all in this video never forget to subscribe as well because i keeps on bringing such videos for you and uh, don't forget to like comment and share thanks for watching my video